Tonight, the Freeman High School community gathered together at the high school for the first time since the shooting to hear from the superintendent, law enforcement, and mental health professionals. In a new story tonight on Nightside, our Hawk Hammer joins us live in the studio, telling us how school officials say they plan to move forward. Hawk? Well, Aaron, it was another emotional night at Freeman High School, but community leaders were there with words of encouragement and a plan for what's ahead. It all started with a huge round of applause for the students and staff for having made it through such a challenging time, but the healing process has just begun. You'd have been proud. You'd have been proud. And I can tell you, I'm proud. Overwhelming emotion as the Freeman High School family gathered together to heal. Let's not kid ourselves, it hurts. It cuts right down to the core. You don't expect it to happen. You don't expect it to happen here. And you certainly don't expect it to happen to your students. With the previous day's tragic events all too fresh on the minds of everyone, they faced the tragedy together with words of encouragement and strength. We gotta figure out how to take the pieces of the puzzle and put them back together. And you know what, we can do it and we're gonna do it. Monday will be the day classes begin back, but it won't be normal for quite some time. It's not gonna be easy, it's not gonna go away overnight. For students, there was this. You gotta be looking out for each other. You gotta be keeping an eye on each other. For parents. If you see that your children are struggling, you gotta let us know. We can help and provide services. From law enforcement, they heard the positive. The way you reacted and the way you dealt with this yesterday is why those three students are in the condition they are tonight. That they're safe, they're alive, they're going to be back with you soon. And counselors, they heard that they shouldn't be afraid or ashamed in any way to ask for help. We will continue to be here for you as much as you need it. We'll be here Monday, and, and throughout, we're not going to leave your side through this process. And the three teenage students who were injured during the shooting, they're continuing to recover. The superintendent of the school said he visited with them earlier. He said they were in high spirits and look forward to being back with their classmates. Reporting for KXLY Nightside, I'm Hawk Hammer.